Hey everybody. Hi Aquarius. We're back again with your weekly reading for, uh, let's see, June 18th through the 25th, 2017. Uh, this is a reading for your life, general. At the end of this reading, I'm going to go over to Vimeo and I'm going to run a reading for your love life. And I'll leave that connection there for you too as well and if you want a private reading with me something that focuses on your life your questions your birth sign information let me know and I'll be happy to produce a reading meant just for you we'll get that invoice started as soon as I hear from you the uh, process couldn't be oh more simple so Get a hold of me, guys. Now, let's take a look at the week. Uh, something jumped out of the deck. The Nine of Cups. Now, I'm going to put this back in the deck. But this, to me, is usually a warning not to overindulge. Food, wine, beer. You might be at a party. It's extremely hot. Add some champagne or cheap wine, and we all know what that can lead to. So, let's watch our intake of indulgences. But it's going back in the deck. Now, let's get on with this force. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. And let's... Oh, one more thing, guys. I've got a special going. It's a one-question $30 reading based on your question or a concern in your life. Uh, it's a good, thorough breakdown of one situation. 30 bucks. you can find that at my website. And that, the wait time is uh, far less uh, long on those readings. So reach out. You can get one. I uh, am keeping my prices where they're at. I've noticed that a lot of my fellow readers are raising their prices for the summer. I'm not doing that, guys. Just when, because business is slow, doesn't mean I have a right to raise my prices on you. I won't do it. So, I'm keeping everything where it's at. I've got a special going. Reach out to me. I think we're just about ready. I want the reverse pyramid for you guys. For oh here very good so we have you at a stalemate usually it's a mental stalemate you're making a choice you're considering something but you're pouring a lot of mental energy and a lot of communication into something going on around you this week the eight of wands the strength card and the world, the emperor, you know, you guys with the major arcanas, it's really incredible. Look at another one. Okay. I think for some of you, basically, you're choosing a house. You're choosing a car. Um, I'm not really receiving that you're buying a new boat or you're organizing a trip a vacation, a voyage, maybe even going on a convention for work or deciding whether or not you want to go, maybe because you have to go. It looks like the boss is right in the middle of this, if that's your situation. Um, yeah, it may be more connected to being uh, obliged to travel for business, um, I think it may be a very long, arduous trip. Some of you are taking that trip to separate yourselves from this kind of overly controlling boss, um, employer. I really, I get it's kind of a very sudden decision that you're going to do this, that you're going to take this trip, that you're going to maybe move away. Um, maybe you're 
finding yourself in a situation where you need to find new employment. Uh, there could have been something that hadn't s happened s suddenly in the workplace that it almost feels like, honestly, some of you were calling the boss's bluff. You know, hey, I'm going to get a better job if you don't give me that raise. And I think for some of you, that may have walked the edge. It may have been the boundary. So, there's a real... This could be, again, I'm getting this reading that it's, for so many of you, it's really very general. A very quick occurrence. That's it something that happens usually at a defined rate of speed. Um, a decision, a quick decision that uh, maybe someone needs you and you're being called upon to really take a trip, take a voyage, go where you're needed to be. This is really, for me, it's about you having to suddenly make a decision to go where you're needed. To take maybe control of a situation. For some of you, it is a work situation. You're being called away because of a crisis at another office. Um, you have to go in someone else's place to fulfill an obligation for your company people you work for. It feels very much like you're under some someone's thumb or someone's manipulation through this. It feels like organized travel, travel plans being made, vehicles being arranged. If you're doing this uh, for a work purpose, then again, it's an obligation. Then I get the other scenario, making the decision to move into that upper scale neighborhood, buy that better automobile. It's about changing something drastic in your life. And yes, buying a vehicle, buying a home, can be life-changing on someone's level. Um, especially with this. This is seriously my car needs to be worked on every other week and I need to take control of the situation. You know, maybe it's just not as peppy as it used to be. Um, maybe it doesn't the horsepower just ain't what it used to be. Changing that situation and improving that cycle. So it's very generic, very general. For Aquarius, there's something, a change in, in your life. You're moving up or moving out or moving away or having to fulfill an obligation but for this week, I think it feels like it's a change that's out of your hands. And let's see if I've got clarifiers for you. Taking you into the week. And whatever these well-defined, well-planned out maneuvers are. Six of Cups. Some of you are making this trip to reconnect with family. And for some of you, you just simply do not want to go. Period. For some of you, it's an obligation to fulfill. And you honestly don't feel like going. It feels more like you're being pushed, maybe, or obligated into going. 
again, it feels like there's some obligation that's tying you down. For some of you, it's a wedding. It's an obligation to attend an event that you simply do not want to go to. This is the convention that you're simply not wanting to go to. This talks about a lot about a connection to the past, though. And that's why, for some of you, <clears throat> it's family connections. They're deeply rooted. And they're deeply rooted in expectations for some of you. And some of you just don't feel like doing it. For some of you, you will figure out a way to get out of it. I think some of you may take the necessary time off to go to that wedding and either stay at home, just play hooky on the world, or you end up going. It can go either way. But I think you are absolutely positive that making this trip away would be the worst thing you could possibly do. That's just the message that I'm getting for you guys. There's a trip in front of you and you just don't feel like going. And uh, that's what I've got for you this week. I'm going to go over to my Vimeo channel and uh, read a love reading for you guys. Um, Aquarius, I wish you well if this is your situation. Check out your sun, moon, or rising if it isn't. Um, be well, guys. Take care and peace.